Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to set up here again for tea. And we're going to see what energy that this deck brings out. Y'all know I'm going to turn it down once I set up here for the suffering. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. What else is going on for my mouth? Um, I'm not the one asking. What else is going on? On this Friday night, let me find my card to be given to this energy. All right. Okay. Can you turn this down? So it looks like Divine Masculine sat up here, and you know he's married to the karmic, right? Okay, Divine Master married to the karmic, but he still reached out to Divine Feminine, okay? So Divine Feminine, it looks like she's not sitting up here dealing with Divine Master no more. That she's sitting up here dodging his ass because she feels like Divine Master is still a wolf in sheep's clothing. That he came back around her to kiss her ass just to sit up here and be a boss daddy, a fucking player, okay? So, Divine Feminine, she been sitting up here moving in silence. She ain't saying too much. She's sitting up here trying her best to dodge Divine Masculine phone calls. But 
she's able to see that Divine Masculine, he ain't on the up and ups like it was at first, okay? But that could be because his wife started talking shit to Divine Masculine, okay? Because remember, Divine Masculine lied to Divine Feminine like it was over with the karmic. But it really wasn't completely over. So the karmic started reaching out to Divine Masculine, talking shit and everything. And Divine Masculine backed up from dealing with Divine Feminine because he's married to this karmic that's always talking shit for his kids, okay? It looked like something could have been going on with the kids up in the household to the point that Divine Masculine had to feel like he had to um, be present in the situation. Divine Masculine went back to the karmic, even though he sat up here and hooked up with Divine Feminine, okay? And ever since Divine Masculine been sitting up here acting funny, Divine Feminine been moving in silence. She ain't saying too much to him, okay? And she and she has made it very clear that she's not going to sit up here and deal with Divine Masculine if he's dealing with the karmic. She's not going to take another dirty offer from Divine Masculine because she sees that Divine Masculine still hasn't left his karmic, okay? Even though Divine Masculine is kissing Divine Feminine's ass, still being cordial, because he knows that she is the boss bitch that she is. Okay. So Divine Master is still trying to keep in good spirits with Divine Feminine. Okay. Because he knowing he's finally able to see that Divine Feminine work. He's trying to see that she's a jackpot. That she's an empress. She's in a high vibration. So Divine Master sees that Divine Feminine, she's undeniable right now. Okay. But it looks like Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine starts sitting up here going through, like Divine Masculine was looking through the karmic's phone, looked like he could have sat up here and got screenshots of something that the karmic was sitting up here doing, okay? Divine Masculine was out here able to see that the karmic was out here being a fucking groupie in other people's faces giving dirty offers when she's supposed to sit up here and be in a relationship with him. And what is and what put the icing on the cake is that um the karmic and divine masculine is married. Now divine masculine is starting to see this karmic for the shady ass bitch that her ass is or wolf in sheep's clothing. And it looked like it's something that he has got that he done took a screenshot of that he's able to see that the karmic, okay, has him in a third-party situation, okay? Divine Masculine was able to see with his own eyes that the karmic has him in a third-party situation. And he even got proof if she tries to deny it. He got proof and screenshots. And he knows that the karmic is going to talk shit once, she's, once he exposes her for being cloud hungry. Sitting up here putting him in a third party situation. Neglecting the kids. Okay. Divine Masculine sitting up here reflecting. Reflecting on how he even took this dirty offer from the karmic after he realizes that he's sitting up here being put in a third party situation. And Divine Masculine was able to see it himself. And it looks like this third-party situation could have happened when he was in jail. The karmic could have started a relationship with someone else close to him while he was in jail. Fighting court cases. Because Divine Masculine sat up here and ran off with somebody's money. Could have been a reason that landed him in jail. But he ended up in jail. And it looked like why he was sitting up here in jail. This bitch out here having third party situations. This is why Divine Master wants Divine Feminine back, okay? Because she's a boss bitch. Because she up on her shit looking good, moving forward. And now he wants Divine Feminine back. But what's his real true reason to want Divine Feminine back? Because he ready to be codependent. 
it was all it was all all right just a day ago, just a week ago. You know how that song be. Okay, that's one of those situations. Hmm. Man, it looks like be careful if the, if your divine master travels to you because he might be coming to sit up here and um, get some money from you. Who should know what's on his mind? Divine master could have traveled somewhere and took some money to the point that he he ended.